Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Long Dark Experiment on our quest to survive for 500 days on Interloper with a bit of a twist. This is episode 55. Let's go ahead and resume our game. All right, well, last we left off, we are here at the camp office after a very successful fishing trip uh, in which we managed to cure our uh, scurvy. Uh, we did, uh, looks like we we're pretty cold here, got hypothermia risk. Um, but we're actually doing really good. We got the, uh, got all those fish. Um, I can tell I'm quite heavy here. Let me see what we are carrying as we begin our episode here. I think today's the day we're going to be adventuring and setting out, uh, possibly for the Broken Railroad. It's really kind of my hope is to get to the Broken Railroad. All right, let's check out what we have here. Um, I'm, you know, I might leave one of these boxes of crackers. And I wonder if I'm ever going to can actually use this broth. I might actually drop that. It seems like I carry it everywhere. It's almost a kilogram. I never use it. You know what? Let's go up to our supply. Where is that? Behind me? There we go. We can drop all this off up with our uh, with our loot. Check on our friend, Mr. Tater, over here. Tater Tot, how you doing? Good to see you this fine day. We got the uh, fish on the wall. Unfortunately, he is out of batteries. So we can't listen to him talk today. And we got the dream catcher in the corner. Looks like we've got a spider trying to catch some dreams as well. All right, we're gonna drop our extra box of crackers and I'm gonna drop the broth. I don't think I'll ever, I don't know. Well, some, some, at some point I will cook, you know, I, I will use the broth, but it seems like I just carry it everywhere I go. And um, if we're gonna head out on a new adventure, I'd like to get as lightweight as possible so that we have lots of room to bring back loot. That is the plan. Let's see what kind of condition our sewing kits are in. 50% and 80%. All right. Uh, so we already checked clothing. Clothing looks pretty good. As far, actually, as far as condition goes, they're getting kind of low. 63% on our gloves and 73 on the hat. So I probably want to carry a rabbit skin and some leather with us, or we could just fix them up before we head out might be our uh, best option there. Okay, as far as food goes, we do have the ketchup chips. Now our cattails are getting quite low. So as we pass through uh, Forlorn Muskeg or maybe Broken Railroad, we, I might want to try to get that back up maybe I'll around 12. Anything about now. Hey, and we still have our carrot for our friend. What else? Uh, oh, we got f almost five liters. Okay, we can drop some of that. Let's drop two liters, because we are pretty thirsty. We can go ahead and get a drink. And of course we are exhausted. Ooh, look at our health. It did take quite a hit on our health with probably the cold damage, I'm guessing, on the last episode. So we'll probably have a nice long sleep. We'll rest up, uh, heal up most of that, I think. Probably get pretty well healed up. Uh, if we sleep tonight. Okay, we got a lot of torches. I can leave some of those over here. And I got four somewhat decent torches. Looks like our crowbar took quite a hit as we were doing all the tip-up fishing. Uh, crowbar has gotten down to 59%, which is not ideal. Um, I think I might want to try to bring back a, a heavy hammer. Next time we come back, we'll, we'll try to use the heavy hammer for ice fishing. It is a lot easier to repair the ice hammer. Um, of course, we can't repair the crowbar at all. Um, let me sort alphabetically here. I think I'll leave the tip-ups here, but I will. I might take one or maybe two. They, they do weigh 0.3 kilograms. But 
two tip-ups. I mean, that's still less weight than that uh, bottle of uh, ptarmigan gravy or whatever that is. What is that? Broth? Um, question is, where do we want to keep these? Maybe, I'm guessing the drawer? Okay, I'm going to keep two of them with us. And I think I'll leave some of this herbal tea. Where did you go, herbal tea? I thought I saw it. So I've got one box of ten cups, and then a five and a four. I think I'll leave the... Let's leave the... Let's leave the 10 and the 4. It's a big 10 4. Herbal tea is one of the um, one of the items in the game that I'm very very hard to come uh, to, to force myself to drink. It's so valuable. Um, they do recover a lot of health while you're sleeping, um, but of course it's non-renewable. Once they're gone, they're gone. And even coffee has kind of a substitute in the game. We, we could possibly make up some uh, acorn coffee or something, but herbal tea is kind of a unique, rare item. So I, I try not to use them if I, if I can get away with it. So we have quite a bit of oil. I think this is mostly from, probably, in fact, probably all of it is from our fishing expedition. So let's go ahead and top up our uh, our lantern here. Nice. And then uh, I could probably drop the remainder. I'll, I'll keep this little bottle just to top up our uh, our lantern as we go. And of course we have our Travoice. We'll probably carry that with us. I've been really, really happy with the Travoice uh, in this game. It's uh, come in pretty handy. And it's, it's really actually not that heavy. Where did it go? It's only a kilogram, guys. For the functionality we get out of that, it is really pretty amazing. Okay, now I have a little bit of a dilemma because our we got two guns. We got the revolver and the rifle, which are a bit on the heavy side. 3.2 kilograms just for the rifle. Plus we've got a little bit of extra ammunition. And of course we have the revolver. Um, by the way, condition, okay, this is 97% on the uh, rifle. Revolver's 95. Okay, so those are looking pretty good. Problem is the weight compared to the bow and arrow. I'm trying to decide if if I want to bring those or if we want to uh, leave them behind. Now we are trying to level up all of our skills. So maybe I'll bring the uh, the rifle. Hey look at that our mending's almost barely almost to level three. We're so close. That'll be nice. I think I will bring the guns be uh, really nice to be able to use them for uh, leveling up but also I mean uh, there's really nothing better for taking down large game especially for me when I take a shot at a, at a deer um, I pretty much have to spend the next I don't know 10 minutes trying to track it down and with the rifle I think it's so much easier uh, let me check the time of day here looks like it is getting pretty late yeah you know I think we might just go to sleep I uh, might not make it all the way. Um, actually, we will, because I'll sleep 10 hours, and then we'll probably sleep just a little bit more. So, yeah, I'm just going to go to sleep. We're so tired. We're taking a little bit of damage just from the tired. And our health is already pretty low. All right, guys, I'll see you in the morning. Alright, we slept uh, full 10 hours. We survived 105 days and 23 hours. Almost 106 days. 
get a drink. And then I'm going to go back to bed. We're going to sleep in today. We'll sleep as long as it will let us. It'll probably only be maybe two or three hours more, and then we'll, we'll be fully rested. Okay, fully rested. And boy, I can already feel the difference. We can move much more quickly. I'm gonna take a little bit of water with us because I do believe we're probably, yeah, probably a little bit on the low side. That that uh, brought sure us up. I, I like, when I travel, I like to be about 2.5 liters. So that, that's actually gonna work out pretty nicely. Um, as far as heaviness goes, we are just a little bit on the heavy side, Four, 46 out of 45 kilograms uh, which is not ideal again I think it it might be the guns we're carrying of course we do have our bearskin coat five kilograms it's keeping us nice and warm and it does scare away some of the wolves so I don't want to get rid of that now before I forget I do want to get that rabbit skin okay we do have a rabbit and the cured gut so I think I'm gonna to try to fix up our gear See if we can get that. Oh, look at that. It's falling apart. It's currently at 63%. And uh, this should push us. Up. You know what? Actually, guys, I have an idea. Instead of trying to repair the rabbit skin to push us up to level 3 sewing, let's repair the, uh, the hat. I think it's a little easier to lose a piece of leather than it is to lose the, uh, the rabbit skin. So I'm going to start with the hat. I'll fix that up. All right, here we go. Nice. Okay, 100% on the aviator cap. We did get some experience. I'm guessing as soon as I back out of this, we'll get level three sewing. There we go, level three mending. Let's take a look at what that did for us. Uh, where are you mending? Okay, level three. So we're currently skilled. You're getting good at mending cloth items. Your repairs are faster than before and more efficient. Mistakes are rare. We've got a 75% chance of a successful repair. And repair time is decreased by 15%. And we get 10% greater item condition increase. Very nice. Okay, next up, we've got the Rabbit skin mittens. Let's see if we can get these back up to, uh, I don't know, 80, 90%. Nice, 96, 96%. As far as the rest of our clothing condition, uh, socks are getting a little bit worn. It's, in, uh, it's interesting that these are wearing out at different rates. I guess because these are on the outside. 74% are probably on the outside. Yep, these are uh, these are the outer socks. So I do want to fix those up. When they get about 70, 75%, it's usually about the time. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see how much cloth we have. We've got uh, one piece of cloth. Might want to take a little bit more cloth with us. As we set out, I do like to have, I don't know, maybe about five pieces of cloth would be uh, would be ideal. Just in case we have to make a uh, snow shelter. But it's looking like I've harvested all the curtains. So we might have to get those on the run as we're as we're traveling. I think we're probably ready to set out. Let me just check our boots and our, okay, 82%, 82%. Um, I'm really tempted to bring a cured deer hide with us. It's pretty heavy. We're not gonna get a cured deer hide in the field, most likely. Yeah, I'm, I think I might take it. We'll leave it at the uh, at the Broken Railroad facility. It's not going to slow us down too much. Um, 
Now, how about the guts? I think we've got quite a bit of guts as well. Maybe I'll take maybe three or four guts. Take a cured maple and maybe a couple birch. I'll take three birch with us. The uh, the facility at the Broken Railroad, the uh, maintenance yard, I think is what it's called. It's actually a pretty good base location. So I wouldn't mind bringing uh, like our tools with us to, to leave there or maybe an extra hacksaw or something. I don't know. We got all these extra items. I might, you know what? I'll take uh, I'll take a simple tool. We are carrying already. I do have the uh, the quality tools. So I'll I'll keep the quality tools with us. Okay, quality tools are at ninety six percent. How much are these ones? Eighty three. Okay, so we'll carry the uh, better quality ones with us. I think. All right, I, th I think we're. I'm. Um, I'm just about ready to go. This might be the last time we're here for a good, uh, good amount of time. So we've got a long road ahead of us. Lots of new territories to check out. New adventures. Um. You know what? I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring some arrowheads. Let's see how many arrowheads we have here. Got ten arrowheads. I'll take uh, five. Oh, you know what? There is a forge, actually. So maybe I'll just take two. I don't know, guys. I'm really kind of torn. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, what? I'm just gonna leave them. If we really need to, I suppose we could forge there. Um, I think we left ourselves a heavy hammer um, in the uh, poacher's camp. Okay, let me see what, as far as um, whetstones, let's see if we have a whetstone and our sewing kit. Let's see the condition on those. Okay, let's see, whetstone, so our knife and our, you know, our hatchet's kind of getting low, 78%. Okay, so we've got uh, one whetstone at 100% and one at 16. It's probably good enough. Um, maybe I'll drop this one and see if we can swap it for a better quality one. 100%. Yeah, we'll take we'll take two 100% whetstones. And then as far as gun cleaning kits, uh, do I have one of those? Do have one at eighty percent? We'll take the hundred percent. Okay. All right, I'm feeling better about that. Oh, we forgot to say goodbye to Tater. We'll say goodbye to Tater and the talking fish that doesn't talk. And the uh, dream catcher, you guys. The hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Take care. Don't know when we'll be back, but uh, hopefully we'll be back soon. I can hear a storm outside. Let's see what the uh, see what the weather's like. Get down low here. And it's cold. Cold and rainy. Let's get a little bit of breakfast. Well, those are cooked. Okay. Too cold to set out. Let 
Let me see how long it takes to make a bow. Survival bow. 6.5 hours. Hmm, okay. Well, I'm just checking. Um, what else is there to make? Make some more fishing line. Yeah, I think I'll just pass time. Let's see if we can wait out this storm. Oh, fishing tackle. Okay, I do have some more hooks and lines. Maybe I'll craft up some of those. Well, now that the uh, music started, I can't really hear the, the storm. Let's see. Oh, it's still going. Okay. Um, oh, I want to check on the condition of our bedroll. How's our bedroll doing? Oh, we're good. 94%. Maybe I'll sleep a little bit and see if the storm will pass. a little bit of time. Oh, you know what? I could be reading. Why am I passing time? I could actually read one of our books. Got 12 out of 25 hours on this guns, guns, guns book. Um, sewing would be a good one to uh, level up. Maybe I'll take a sewing book with us. Alright, there we go. Scurvy Risk is back! <laughs> Welcome back, Scurvy. Oh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be one of our friends through the whole playthrough, I think. Um I think I could probably put some fish in the Travoice. That would probably help us with the scurvy. Yeah, we've got all this cooked fish and uh, raw fish as well, actually. Um, you know, I'm going to deploy Archer Voice. Looks like the weather has cleared up nicely. Oh, whoops, I actually have to deploy it. All right, so let's deploy. Let's see, actions. Wait, no, that's a tip up. Where's the Archer Voice? There it is. Deploy. Alright, let's get some raw fish and some cooked fish. I can barely walk with this much gear. And I'll eat a little bit. Hey, we cured our scurvy wrist. Oh man, look how heavy we are. Can hardly even get to the Travoice now. That's some heavy fish. Um, you know what, and I can... I could even put some other items in here just to get more lightweight. We could put like our tools, canteen. Uh, I'll keep the revolver. Put our tools in there. A pry bar. I'm hoping we find another better quality pry bar at the Broken Bro Road. Okay, 
Okay, we're actually lightweight now. Okay, let's get out our gun. And with that, we are on our way. Hopefully we don't run into any wolves. I kind of hate to have to get out the gun. Yeah, so that was a good tip uh, somebody g gave me about uh, when you use the travoise, you want to have the gun in your hand. So as soon as you drop the travoise, like this, you got your gun. Okay, the weather's not looking so good. It's like a storm is coming. Even though it seems like we just waited out the storm, right? So think that uh, the game would give us a little bit of a break. Now the one thing I don't like about the Travoise is uh, if I come across some sticks, I'm not going to be able to pick them up unless I drop the Travoise. And I do want to get at least a few. Uh, I think we might be completely out of sticks. We pretty much use them all for our fishing expedition. Oh, this Travoise is so nice. It's really speeding things up. I'm going to try to cross the train tracks. Hey, and there's a, a stick. You know what? I'm going to grab this because we're completely out of sticks. If we make our way over to the poacher's camp and a storm sets in, I'm actually going to really be glad we got these sticks. So I hope you guys will forgive me for taking just a little pick up sticks uh, break here. I know it's not the most entertaining content to uh, be picking up sticks all the time. Alright, let's get out our gun. Off to the right, we've got uh, the uh, poacher's camp down there. I wouldn't mind checking to see if another moose has spawned. But uh, I, think, I think we're good. Let's just keep going. I believe we left plenty of meat back at, at uh, trapper's camp. Alright, this might be a little bit tricky here. I don't know if I can get through this. Oh, hey, nice. Okay, welcome back to Forlorn Muskeg. It's been a while since we were back this way. Gotta keep an eye out for the bear and wolves. I actually don't remember if we, uh, if we actually shot and killed this bear or not. Ok, 
Okay. I see something big up ahead. I, th I think it might just be a uh, tree stump, though. We should be good. Yeah, last time we saw the bear here. Okay, I remember now. I think uh, we were trying to harvest some uh, some of the plants over here, and the bear came. It's kind of hard to look around while you're pulling the travois. Normally, I'd be kind of swiveling my head back and forth. Checking things out, but I guess I guess I could stop and kind of no, nope, that's as far as I can look in either direction. See the bear or a wolf. See the. Let's drop this. The bear. Where's my right? Oh, there it is. Okay. It's the bear, guys. Um. Right here at Poacher's Camp. Let's get a fire going. See if we can get his attention. I got those sticks. I'm gonna have to throw a rock and see if we can get him to come over closer to the fire or even just to pay attention to us. He's walking away right now. All right, put a torch out. Get a rock. Come on, bear. Come on, bear. Oh, that's not good. Whoa, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Oh my gosh. I pushed the wrong button. I think I'm out of rocks. Oh, I got one more. Come on, bear. Can't tell if I got his attention or not. Is he coming back? Yeah, he's. I think he's coming. All right, he's coming. Hey, bear. He sees us. Let's get out our rifle. He's coming. Wait for him a little bit. We see you. Come on. It's pretty smart to stay off the thin ice. He's probably been through here quite a few times. I imagine he's probably fallen through the ice a time or two. Well, this rifle's going to be so nice. Hey, bear. Come on. So I've got to wait until he rears up on his hind feet, and then I can take a shot at him. I think I'm finally figuring out the mechanics. And then he should come to the fire and stop pretty close. Right, he's coming. How's our fire doing? 31 minutes? Let's add some fuel here. All right, bear, are you coming?
Got to be patient. He's coming right up to us. Maybe I'll take a shot. He's so close. Man, I, he never did rear up, did he? Alright, he is coming. He's coming back. Every step he takes is a step I don't have to bring all that meat back. All right, come on, bear. I hear you. I know you're you're hurting. I know you're hurting, bear. Come on back this way. Come on back. Come on, bear. Yeah, he's hurting. Hopefully this is it, guys. Let's see how close I can get him. I know he's hurting. Come on, bear. Oh, we're so cold. All right, there's, there he is, rearing up. Oh, I probably should have waited for him to get closer. Oh, nice. Breath of relief there. Let's get this fire going inside on the, uh, on the uh, barrel. Where is that? Oh, it's back here. Way back here. It's so cold. I'm warming up a bit. Um, you know what? I actually really need a fire by the bear so we can quarter him. Let's put this fire out and grab a new torch. Grab a couple. Hopefully we can pull this off. Hey, bear. Well, that took more shots than I thought. Maybe I was not hitting him with on, one or one or two of those shots. Got 42 minutes, uh, actually more than that, I guess. Let's quarter him up. Gonna cancel. Finish quartering. Twelve minutes. Okay. Probably should have dropped the meat if if we did have any. I don't think we did actually. Okay. Nice. Got them all quartered up. Um. Let me pick up what I can. Actually, let's grab the Travois. I don't want that fire to blow out. How much time is left on that? Ah, we're good. Need to get this fire inside. Oh, 
Well, that's, that's so nice, guys. We got uh, got another bear. Got plenty of meat now. We can leave here at the uh, poacher's camp. Got another bear hide we can take with us to uh, in the Travoice over to Broken Railroad to get that curing. Let's add a piece of coal or two, even. It was getting pretty late, though. Kind of worried about spending the night here. Let's get our Travois back to camp. Try to unload it inside the uh, inside the box car. Can I get in there? No space for Travois. <sighs> Don't serve their kind here. Um, I can't move all of it. Gonna be a little bit noisy. hours on the fire. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take that. Is our fire blow out? <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's deploy our Travoice. is full. Okay. Bring all this meat inside. meat. Alright, we just have the guts. And that's it. Let's warm up by this fire. <laughs> oh, thank you, fire. Um, let's see. How are we going to do this? I actually think I need to save the video as well. So maybe I'll... Um, got two hours on there. Tell you what, let's harvest up a little bit of the bear meat. And I could get some of it cooking and take just a little short nap. 37 minutes, let's go for it. Oh, I forgot to get a drink. Need a 
drink. All right, let's get a drink. Yeah, that's better. Okay, now we can take a short nap. And I'll see you guys in an hour. Okay, you're back in business. Wonder if I should have just passed time there. Either way, we got uh, got some cooked bear meat. Uh, really, we should be eating the uh, fish meat to try to get rid of our scurvy risk. But uh, anyway, let's get our meat back here cooking while we harvest up some more. Put another piece of coal on the fire. So glad to have this box car right here in the middle of the marsh. Get some nice protection. I would imagine the wind gets pretty bad here with no, uh, nothing blocking the wind except for the train. I'm gonna leave the raw meat over here so I don't mix it up. How's our meat looking? 13 minutes, okay. Keep going. 22 minutes. Oh, thank goodness. The storm has lifted. Okay, I got 32 minutes there. Let me drop the meat over here. Oh, there's some lag right there. Actually, I should probably keep some of this over by the fire so I can put fresh pieces on. You know, really, I should put these outside. They're gonna keep longer out in the cold. Uh, let's put it right here. Same with the raw meat, but uh, it's okay for now. We'll we'll move it at uh, at the end here. getting these bags busted up. I would imagine she's quite the expert at butchering by now. I mean, literally processing all these animals. It's a pretty impressive skill, actually. Uh, it's a skill I do not have. I've never, never processed an animal. 15 minutes. I think people who hunt and process animals have a lot more respect um, for where their food comes from, you know. So just like right there when we killed that bear, seeing the bear suffer and 
hands-on, actually working with the bear and the animal. Something I've never done. Okay, 40, oh, that one's done. Okay, these are both done, All right? Um, let's set it here for now, I guess. We need some more coal. We're almost done. Three bags left. Looks like the night is almost over. Uh, 34 minutes? Okay. This is a nice part of the game when things have calmed down. Weather's not too bad. Got a nice warm fire. Meat's cooking. Take a little bit of a peaceful break from the stress of bear attack, bear, bear hunting. Okay, so these are done. Meat is done. Okay. Um, it's probably too cold to travel. And there is a chance, uh, of course, there's a chance we could still get an Aurora if I set out. Definitely don't want to be messing with Aurora Wolves. Nine minutes. All right, I'm going to pass time on these. Let's put the cooked meat out here. Maybe I'll put a little bit of cooked fish out here. I may as well eat some cooked fish. Um, let's put some. Co I'm going to put some fish on to cook, actually. Just pick all. Just pick everything up. Make it a little easier. Oh, we're so heavy. This must be some big fish. Okay, I'm going to put the cooked fish out. Okay, well, I might have to keep this fire going until we're ready to set out. Oh, I love the sound. Sizzling a fatty fish on a fire. Got just a little bit of salt and pepper too. Happen to carry with us. Sprinkle that on. Oh yeah. All right, here's the heavy hammer. We do want to take that with us to uh, to the forge at uh, Broken Railroad. Question is, do we want to sleep? We try to sleep a little bit, or do we just want to press on? Like the sun's gonna be coming up here pretty soon. 
think if we have uh, if we have some tea warmed up, we should probably be good to go. I'm gonna get Archer Voice already. Let's deploy that. It's getting kind of low, 75%. It is getting lower on condition. Put our bear hide in there and the deer hide. I'm going to take these guts with us to cure at the broken railroad. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Otherwise, they're just going to go bad. Uh, so maybe I'll leave some cured guts here since I do have some. Leave three cured guts here. It'd be nice if we had a container or something. But uh, I guess that's. Hopefully they won't degrade. Um, we can put these in our travoice. I might need that. Let's keep that. Okay. Um, I'm going to drop some of these torches. We could even just harvest some of them. Okay, fish is done. Nice. And we've cured our scurvy risk again. Oh, that fish is just falling off the bone. It's so tender. So fatty. All right, 33 minutes. Everything's going to wrap up in about a half hour here. Let's put the heavy hammer in the travois. What all do we want to put in here? Um, maybe I'll put a, I don't know, should I leave some water here? Maybe I'll leave some water. Okay. Let's leave a little bit of water. I'll leave half a liter, just for emergencies. And then how's our coal situation? Got 12 coal, okay. I think we can leave these here. Um, oh, you know, maybe I should take a little bit for the forge. Holy cow, there's a lot of coal. All right, how much coal? All right, we got one piece. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Leave five pieces, six pieces, looks like. Okay, how's our meat? Nine minutes. meat do I want to bring? I can bring some of this cooked meat. Maybe 
Maybe a little bit of fish. And a little bit of raw meat. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Looks pretty good. So we've, we're leaving behind a little bit of uh, materials here. A little bit of fish, a little bit of I cooked bear meat. Doesn't seem so crazy right some now. raw bear meat. Um, we'll take these guys with us. Leave those. Leave all that. Okay, I do need to... Um, do need to heat up some tea. I think I want to take a lit torch with us. Probably be okay, as long as we're warm. We do have the gun to scare away wolves if we need it. And well, that tea never warmed up, did it? Drink a reishi tea. I'll put these in uh, in our thermos. Drink that. I probably do. I'm gonna eat it. All right, guys, we're off. Our sleeping pattern has really kind of gotten off kilter here with uh, the bear hunt. Staying awake all through the night. We did get a little hour nap there. Give ourselves just a little bit of relief. She's quite the survivor, this Astrid. It's kind of fun watching her, seeing what she does next. Seeing how she handles things. Like, okay, see, like right now, the game is going to try to stop us. It knows. We're trying to make a run for it. So we got a little bit of snowflakes coming. And what do you bet the snowflakes turn into a blizzard? Although sunrise usually seems to be pretty clear though. Maybe as the sun's coming up it will clear up. Seems like, oh you know what guys, I'm gonna drop this. I need to get some more rocks, and I need to get our gun out. So, let me see how many rocks we have. We have we've only got one rock. Um, let's get our gun out. And then if I see another rock, we got to pick that up. I think I see a wolf up ahead. Yeah, he's coming. 
two of them. Three, there are three wolves ahead, guys. There are three wolves patrolling. One, two, and there's one like right behind this little. Oh, there he is. Three. One, two, three. Ah, they're going to be a little bit of a problem. Hey, there he is. Um, we can practice our. Uh, one of them ran away. That's a smart one right there. What are you doing? He's running away too. Okay. <laughs> that was a little risky. I thought I was pointing with the gun. It uh, triggered him to either fight or flight. And he chose the right answer. That was the right answer. To run away. We still have one more wolf up here. Probably have to deal with. I think I might want to aim at him. Now this could be bad, guys. Um, I want to level up our gun, but at the same time, we're going to have to shoot him a couple times. Oh, one shot. All right. Well, guess that solves the problem. Ah, Wolfie, you've left me with a conundrum here. Puzzle, do we want to... How we're gonna get so cold? We don't need the meat. I hate to let him go to waste. But it was his choice. It's so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. Uh, let's drink another tea. Which one's hot? There we go. We're probably gonna get cold. Um. No, this might not be a good idea. I just hate using fuel. If we uh, if we stay and sleep inside the box car, I gotta use up fuel most likely. But on the other hand, if, uh, if a storm blows in, then I'll have to use fuel to stay warm. And we're pretty tired as well. Oh man. I'm starting to think this is probably not... Oh, see, I can still see the, uh, the train. You know what, guys? I think I'll leave it. I'll leave the Travois. We'll go sleep a little bit. Um, I'm going to see if our sleeping bag will keep us warm. Maybe I'll sleep just enough for the uh, weather to get good. It'll be a little bit warmer. Um, I wouldn't mind actually trying to harvest this guy now, since we're heading back. Shouldn't take all that long. 30 minutes. I'm gonna be taking damage for 30 minutes, so... Um... Let's see if I just take a little... How much damage is that doing? Yeah, it's more damage than I want to take. So let's let's head back. I do want a stick though. I mean a stick. I mean a stone. <laughs> we are tired, aren't we, Astrid? Pretty tired. Oh, guys. Well, spending some time here at the at the uh, box cars reminds me. I I think I've mentioned this before on my channel. I do enjoy watching a YouTuber. Uh, his name is Shoestring. I've talked about him before, I'm pretty sure. And he just passed away just a couple days ago. It's kind of sad. 
so uh, the community shoestring he had quite a uh, I think he had something like 200 thousand subscribers or something so quite a large impact with him passing away such a such a nice guy he uh, his his uh, videos were very clean he loved trains he, he uh, filled his videos with information about trains as he was riding he would he would jump trains and ride across the country even up into Canada Alaska all across the west and back east and he would carry with him a five gallon bucket with a uh, padded seat for the lid and that's what he would sit on after he jumped a train he'd sit on his five gallon bucket and of course when you jump a train you're stuck you know you're you're, you're at the mercy of the train it could be hours and hours and hours just crammed on the back side the back end of a train uh, car so inside his bucket of course he'd have all of his survival gear bottles of water and food warm clothing and bedroll all that stuff that uh, Astrid carries with her okay I'm hoping that if we put our bed down we'll have a little bit of a little bit of heat here so bedroll bonus has given us 7.5 degrees but it feels like negative 16 so I absolutely do need to get a fire unfortunately but uh, we got we got the coal we got we got sticks and stuff um, so I can't complain got one stick I remember shoestring one of one of one time he was jumping trains and you know the weather the weather can get pretty bad it was rainy and cold and uh, some of the uh, train drivers the uh, I don't know the guys who would drive those big old diesel locomotives were actually fans of his channel and uh, one locomotive driver found shoestring on his train and knew who he was and says well you come along with me shoestring and he put him in one of the locomotives facing the rear way you know the, the a lot of times those trains will have one locomotive facing forward and then at the they'll they'll actually run a train backwards you may have seen that before if you ever see locomotives facing backwards pulling a train they do that to try to get equal wear and tear on the transmission because if the trains always driving in forward then the forward gears are going to wear out quicker than the reverse gears so they, uh, they put it in reverse and give it equal time to let it uh, let it run backwards anyway uh, there's a train at the very uh, locomotive at the back of the train facing backwards pushing the train and uh, all by himself uh, shoestring got to ride in that locomotive and the uh, the driver the conductor who let him jump on says you just don't mention my name I don't want to lose my job but you come inside and be warm right here inside this uh, this locomotive so that's, that's kind of neat uh, of course you do get some bad um, some mean people that work for the train company railroad and uh, he's uh, shoestring he's been arrested quite a few times you know jumping trains is illegal very dangerous well, at any rate, rest in peace, Shoestring. Uh, it's, uh, I do appreciate his videos, and I'm sad to see him go. He's a, he's a good man. All right, guys, uh, got about I don't know three and a half hours. Maybe we can sleep here. So I'm gonna jump in bed. Let's see if we can sleep a little bit. Let's go for three hours. And we got another storm. Oh, and we're thirsty. Should have checked that before I went to sleep, I guess. All right, I'm a little worried about our Travois out in the storm, but it is what it is, right? I think this was the right thing to come back here. 
Uh, anyway, guys, I think this is a great place to call it an episode right here as we uh, wait out the storm at Poacher's Camp. In the next episode, I'm hoping to make it over to Broken Railroad as we continue our adventure. Thank you so much for coming along. If you would, just take a minute and say hello. Or if you prefer, you can just leave a thumbs up. As always, I do uh, appreciate subscribers. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. But most importantly, guys, I do hope to catch you in the next episode. Take care.